Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up, my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in. Today we're actually going to put this Glam Glow face mask to the test. It is their Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I love most Glam Glow products. There have been some misses for me, but for the most part, they have been awesome. And I've had my hands on this box. It is not even open. It is sealed for weeks now, and I have not had a chance to try it out. So I thought, why not? It is Saturday afternoon. I'm in my sweats and my comfies, and I thought, let's have a mask and see how this works. So as usual with mask videos, I will put the mask on and then I will read the benefits to you guys while it is chilling and doing its thing. But I also picked up from Origins, which has usually been a mi not a miss, it's usually been a hit. There have been a few misses, but Origins has mainly been a hit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I clearly needed more sleep last night, but it is a Maximizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. So you spritz this on your face before a mask, and it has some marine algae complex that helps hydrate, soften, and optimize your skin's condition, so it's fully prepped to enhance your mask's experience. So it says to hold the bottle 10 to 12 inches from your face, spray over clean face. I just got out of the shower. Oh, and to lightly pat in and then apply the mask. Close eyes before spraying. Duh. Um, and just a quick spritz get skin primed. Because the reason, do I have food in my teeth? No, okay. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to try this out is because by the time I've showered and then I at least apply my body lotion before filming, I'm a mess. I have lint on me. I My face is like a little bit dried out and normally you're supposed to apply your masks right away when you get out of the shower, bath, wash your face, whatever. So I thought this is going to be a good little like quick fix when I'm doing tutorial, well not tutorials, I guess first impressions and reviews for you guys on masks so I can hopefully just give it a little spritz and get it prepped. I guess first I should get into the mask and then prime my face. So I have my little scissors here. Isn't this so fun though? Like this I think is probably the best packaging they have come out with yet. And their packaging is always really fun but I think this is probably the best. All right, I got the two stickers off on the bottom, and as always, right when you open it, it says Hello Sexy, which I think is a really cute little touch. Let's see, ooh, this is, there's a brush in there. Some fancy pants stuff. Okay, I've never seen this from Glam Glow. So it's purple, so that's a plus. Pink's my favorite color, but purple is next on the list. They have never come out with a little brush with any of the masks that I've purchased from anyway. Why does this look impossible to open? I'll be right back. So this is a really cute little brush. Look at that. So I guess it's going to be to apply the product and that feels wonderful. And then they're... Really? There's one... There we go. There's a little pamphlet in here. But I bet you it is nothing that is not already on the box. So let me get to the instructions. Apply a generous, even layer to clean skin with brush, avoiding eyebrows and hairline. Leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, this is a longer one. Treatment will change color as it dries. So I will do some check-ins as the color changes. Once it's completely dry, oh, it's a peel off mask. Gently peel off from edges and then you rinse off the excess with warm water. Use twice a week for best results. You clean the brush and that is it. <sighs> Let's see how this works. Does this one say to shake? Nope. All right. Oh. That's got like an intense sprayer on it. That smells really pleasant though. Kind of like a spa treatment would. So whether or not it does anything, it at least rehydrates your skin. 
which is great because now at this point it's been like 15 minutes since I've been out of the shower. Oh, this is like a white, metallicized, oh, oh my god, that smells amazing and I cannot place my finger on it, like it smells like some kind of really yummy alcoholic beverage, damn, what is that, okay, I'm going to get to applying, hopefully it's going to come back to me so I can... That's like an almond tone? I don't know. All right. That's the consistency. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so gonna be a disaster right now. Oh, this feels nice. Look at the color. Oh, this is fun. This is like a silver white metal. This smells like dessert or an alcoholic beverage. Coconut. It smells like pina colada. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Pina colada. <laughs> I just spit. I got so excited that it finally came to me. Oh, and it's white. That's really appropriate. That is funny. All right, so it's not necessarily alcoholic because you can get virgin pina coladas. But it does smell like a pina colada. Oh, I gotta try this one on my hubby. He will love that. I put that 24 karat gold mask on him and he was glowing. Like that gave him even better results than it gave me. I'm gonna get him on camera. But he is a coconut fiend. So he will love at least the smell of this. But this feels wonderful. And it looks super sexy, doesn't it? And he's seven years older than me, so maybe it will actually do more firming for him if it doesn't do any firming for me. <laughs> it says to apply a generous layer. So I'm assuming that would mean not having any skin showing through. I think it's starting to look way more silver already. Like I'm starting to feel like the tinfoil man. From like, oh my God, Dorothy. Why am I blanking on the movie? I'm trying to avoid my, there we go. Is it gonna be epic if I get it in my hair and it's gonna rip all my hair out? My eyebrows? Because I do need to tweeze, so I mean, that wouldn't be the <laughs> biggest deal. There's like a tingling effect starting to happen. Oh, I love the smell. If you guys don't like coconuts, or the smell of pina colada specifically because this is straight up pina colada you won't like it and this is pricey and because you have to put a generous amount on I don't think you get that many uses out of it and if it says you need to do it like twice a week I mean let me see if, let me see how much I've used so I mean there's still a lot in there but there are so many other masks that you can really stretch out. So, I mean, I guess we'll see what kind of results happen when this comes off. Okay. <laughs> this is so silver. <laughs> Let me put that lid back on. I'll rinse the brush after I'm done reading this to you guys. There's no burning, no like, 
awful sensation. There's just like this really mild tingling sensation happening. You could probably bring it down your neck if you wanted to. So it says that they're those little insert after the hello sexy says there's a T-oxide complex with licorice and marshmallow leaf, which helps skin look and feel firmer. Visitite with a firming matrix and marine algae plasma and biodefined polymers. This helps provide instantly tighter feeling skin. Oh, I guess I should check the time. Oh, whoops. A lunar lift boosted with soy isoflavin, liposome, and red algae extract. Why are these words always so complicated? I always feel like such a tool reading this to you guys. <laughs> that helps skin feel tighter and more toned. And then cosmoplexion with Icelandic kelp, hyaluronic acid, and mineral rich glacial clay. Helps skin feel younger and more resilient. Well, that's kind of fun. Then over here, Gravity Mud Firming Treatment is an out of this world new instant tightening and firming treatment. The innovative formula, this is pretty fun, not gonna lie. Changes color from white to a brilliant chrome. We're getting chrome and peels off, I think that's so crazy, to leave skin feeling tighter and more lifted. There's a little bit more tingling happening in like, oh, I just touched it, the T-zone area, well not the T-zone, because not in the forehead, but like in this area, why I just need to look in the mirror. The cheek, the upper cheek area, and my mustache area, there's tingling happening. Uh, mega targeted ingredients work together to help skin's Contours feel firmer and look more defined. Gravity Mud will give you super sexy, firmer feeling skin in an instant. Welcome to Glam Land and the world of Glam Glow. And then I read you guys what the instructions say. Yeah, it's a face, neck, and décolleté. So you, oh my god. So if you actually did your neck and your décolleté, you so would not get very many treatments out of this. And because it's been so long since I've purchased it, I need to go double check. But this may have been up there like 90 bucks. Like, I'm not sure, I need to go look it up. But Glam Glow is not cheap at all. Most of the products are awesome, but most go a really long way. So unless this is like, actual instant results where you don't need to do it twice a week, it's just like, you could do it for a special occasion because you've got a wedding, a ceremony, graduation, whatever it is, then it might be worthwhile. But if it's something that you have to actually upkeep twice a week and you're somebody who wants to get this whole area, honey, I think you'd be burning through this every two weeks. So I don't know. But I will do some check-ins and keep you guys posted. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and it says 20 to 30, so I'm gonna do 30 and this is the halfway point. I feel like it hit this chrome level pretty much by the end of the last stage. It wasn't really a check-in, it was at the end of the application. I feel like it reached this chrome and it hasn't been changing yet. The tingling is still the same amount and the leaflet that was in there, it's just the same thing that I read to you guys but different languages, so. I will zoom you in even more so you can see this craziness in <laughs> yep. So this is like intense. But I will leave it on again and do another check-in in a little bit. Okay guys, it's been 25 minutes and I mean this is like tightening. <laughs> you can see all the wrinkles. But it's evidently is not at a point where it can be ready to come off like as a peel. If I was going to rinse it, it could. So I don't know, I know it does say 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> the temperature in my house is hot, it's 74 degrees. This room is probably more like 76 or 77. Eeyore! 
And so I have no idea why this isn't drying down even more quickly than it would. Like you can see here, it really is. So I have no idea. I mean, I guess I'll give it another five minutes, but I wanted to let you know that this room is so hot. My house is 74 and it is not feeling like it would peel off right now. So give it five more minutes and then I'll be back. All right, it has been 30 minutes and it's actually starting to lift around my mouth all on its own. I'm sure that's because I've done an excessive, excessive amount of talking and laughing. I did want to mention that I rinsed this and at first I started rinsing I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be an impossible brush to rinse. Like the product was so built up in it and then all of a sudden the product was gone. So for a moment, it felt like this was going to be a nightmare of a brush to clean and then it was all of a sudden clean. So it, it was really easy to clean. Now I normally peel from the outsides, so I'm going to see, but I mean this is really lifted. Let me see if I can get it at least started. It still feels tacky though, but I mean it's been 30 minutes, okay, 30 minutes. I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit more because this looks like some pretty crazy. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe even more. <laughs> Wow, it is actually peeling off really easily. I have to say that this is the easiest peel off mask I've ever done. And it still smells like pina colada. Fun little fact. Wow, this is the best peel off mask I have ever done. Like I know there's leftover and it says to go rinse it, but my skin feels so smooth right now. I think there's actually a little plumping and lifting effect that did happen, but I can't even, like it is so smooth and plumped and like ready for makeup. Here's the mask. I tried to get it all off in one piece. I, I failed, but that is what is left of it. It is pretty cool though, how crazy chrome that is. It's nuts looking at this up close because you can see all your pores. It's not like it pulls out blackheads or anything, but you can see like all the little pores, how it settled into your skin. So, but this feels so crazy smooth. I kind of wanted to hate this mask because it's so expensive, but I really like it. Damn it. All right, I'm going to go rinse off. Well, I can probably feel that. Rinse off the excess and I will be back. 
Alright, it came off really easily, like the little leftover particles that I have to rinse off, rinsed off like in no time. I feel like my skin looks really good and is glowing. I don't know how much firming it did, but it's like plump and healthy looking and like just ready to go either like makeup free or ready to like slather on some makeup. So I definitely think that you actually do get instant results. I don't think it's something that you need to do twice a week, every single week in order to like build up, build up and build up to achieve results. So it might be worth the splurge because it is a special occasion mask. I really don't think it's something you have to do twice a week. So for me, I would just do it if I had something special to go to. And then it's worthwhile because that jar is gonna last a hell of a lot longer than if you're doing it twice a week and doing it all down your neck and chest. So for me, if I'm doing it as a special occasion mask, I give it, Two thumbs up, A++++, I think it's phenomenal, it smells amazing, it looks cool, it's fun to apply, it feels like so awesome when it's on, it's like the littlest bit of tingling effect, you got like that pina colada so you feel like you're like tropical and getting a spa treatment, it legitimately peels off fairly easily, most peel off masks at home are a disaster to get off. I got an instant result out of it, so I think it's worth it. I, I, I do. I love it. I think it's great. I would highly recommend this one to you guys, especially because, like I said, I think that it is instant, so you don't need to do it all the time. So I'm sounding redundant. I know, but it is. I just, I really expected to not like it or not get anything right out of it, and I was proven wrong. So that's why I love doing these videos for you guys because I get to be your guinea pig. I'm fortunate enough to be able to get some of these products and try them out and have fun with you guys and put them to the test and see whether or not they work. And this one worked. It was a winner. So that does it for this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it got a little laugh out of it you know at my expense and my chrome face but uh please give it a thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time good night good morning wherever you are i love you guys and i will talk to you later bye